Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing cutting off kurti with yoke. Yoke can be used for designing purpose as well as increasing the length of garment as I did in my kurti. So if you want to know how I use yoke in my kurti, please keep watching. This is the fabric I am using for my kurti. This is 2.25 meter of fabric but the print on the fabric is off grain that is horizontal. And the length I got like this is around 42 inch including both borders and the actual length I need is 46 inch so I need 4 inch length more and for that I'm using yoke. Now for cutting firstly I'll cut the amount of fabric I need for kurti apart from yoke and sleeves and for that I'll take the uh, widest measurement of kurti which is ghera and uh, in my measurement ghera is 22 inch and uh, 22 inch is the ready measurement so I need to add seam allowance 1 inch for right side and 1 inch for left side so 22 plus 2 is 24 inch so I will I will uh, mark Ghera like this so uh, Ghera is 24 inch but still I am taking 1 inch more uh, that is 25 inch so I will mark a point at 25 inch see this is the front of the kurti and I will mark 25 inch more for back of the kurti and I'll cut it And I also need back of the kurdi so I have marked the point and now I'll cut it so this is for front of the kurdi and this is for back of the kurti now I have two lengths and as you can see I have enough fabric for sleeves and yoke so firstly I will cut the kurti this is the back of the kurti firstly I will check the length uh, the actual length is 46 inch so I'll keep the measuring tape at 46 inch on the bottom of the kurti and I'll check the length of yoke I need if I include this border I need 3.5 inch of yoke and if I exclude it I need around 6.5 inch of yoke and for back I'm not using this border on the top and to cut this border I have marked this line and now I'll cut the border Now for yoke, I have taken the leftover fabric and I have excluded the fabric for sleeves and folded the rest of fabric and I will keep it on the top of the kurti like this and now I will mark the measurements. Now on this fabric mark half inch point. And join these points and keep the fabric over this fabric till this 
line this is the seam allowance to join both these pieces together and now i'll mark the measurements firstly i'll mark the length of kurti which is 46 inch so i'll keep the measuring tape at 46 inch at the bottom of the kurti and i'll mark the point on the top of the fabric like this and now i'll mark the vertical measurements from the top mark a point at 6.5 inch from this point go 7 inch downwards and mark the point this is waist point again from waist point go 7 inch downwards and mark the hip point now i'll extend these points Now for shoulder, take half of your shoulder measurement. In my measurement, shoulder is 13.5 inch. Half of it is 6.75 inch. So I'll mark a point at 6.75 inch. Now for bust, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, bust is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35, and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. So I'll mark a point at 8.75 inch. I have added 3 inch of ease because this is uh, cotton fabric and it doesn't have any stretch in it. And for waist, again I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is 26 inch. 26 plus 3 is 29 inch. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.25 inch. So I'll mark a point at 7.25 inch. Similarly, I'm adding 3 inch of ease for hip. And hip measurement is 36 inch. 36 plus 3. is 39 inch and dividing it by 4 i'll get 9.75 inch so i have marked the point there and now i'll join these points I mark the same shoulder measurement on the bust line, which was 6.75 inch, and I'll join these points. From this point, I'll go one inch in inwards, and now join these points too. For neckline, from this point, go 2.5 inch inwards and mark the point. From this point, take the depth of your neckline, which is 5.5 inch in my measurement. This is the back neckline, and again from this point, I'll go 2.5 inch inwards, and I'll join these points to form a rectangle for making neckline. and i'll make the round neck shape so this is the back neck line and for shoulder slope from this point go half inch downwards and join these points this is the shoulder slope and for the armhole curve i've made the back armhole curve and uh, now for the ghera i'll mark a point at 11 inch the ghera uh, the ghera measurement is 22 inch so half of it is 11 inch i have marked the point there and now i'll join the hip point and the ghera and now i'll leave 1.5 inch of seam allowance
for uh, slits, I am leaving 1 inch of seam allowance till the end of the kurti and now I will join all these points. So the back kurti marking is uh, completed and now I will cut it. So this is the back of the kurti and now I'll cut the front, hold it the fabric for front side and I'll keep the leftover fabric on the top for yoke and similarly I will mark the half inch of point on this fabric and I'll join these points. overlap this fabric on the other one till this line now I'll place the back kurti on the top of this fabric Don't forget to uh, uh, overlap a uh, yoke on the back kurti because this is the seam allowance. And now I'll trace the kurti on the front side. So I have marked the kurti and now for the front show of, uh, for the front arm pull, I'll just mark the uh, shoulder measurements from the top mark a point at 6.5 inch and extend this point now I'll mark the shoulder measurements 6.75 inch I'll join these points now from this point I'll mark a point at 1 inch inwards and I'll join these points too now I'll make the front armhole curve so this is it and now I'll cut it So this is the front of the kurti. Earlier I was uh, including the border on the top for front but uh, there was a gap between the print and the border so I have excluded it. I will attach the border uh, in the front in uh, while stitching. I will show you. I have cut both front and the back of the kurti and now I will cut the sleeves. sleeves. 
I have this fabric but I am not including this part I just need this part and uh, below this print I will add the border so I will fold the fabric twice like this and firstly I will mark the length of my sleeves which is 17 inch but I will include border below the print so the length of 17 inch and it comes 15 inch on the fabric and after that I will add the border so now from the top I will mark a point at 3.5 inch this is cap height and for arm fitting I will mark the point at 6 inch and 12 inch this is the elbow point now I will extend these points Now on this line, I will take the shoulder length for that, take one fourth of your burst measurement and uh, deduct one inch out of it. Like in my measurement burst is 32 inch, so one fourth of 32 is 8 inch and after deducting one inch I will get 7 inch. So I will mark a point at 7 inch and I will join this point with this point. Now measure this line, it's 8 inch and divided by 3 so it will come around 2.6 uh, something and I'll take the round measurement uh, and I'll mark a point at 2.5 inch twice to divide this line into 3 parts and from this point I'll go half inch upwards and mark the point. And from this point, I will go 0.25 inch downwards and I have marked the point. Now, I will join these points. This is the back armhole curve and for front armhole, join it like this. So, this is the armhole curve and now I will mark the arm fitting measurement now at 6 inch arm round is 12 inch so I'll mark a point at 6 inch 12 divided by 2 and at elbow point arm round is 11 inch so half of it is 5.5 inch and at the bottom at 17 inch arm round is 10 inch so I'll mark a point at 5 inch now I'll join these points and I will leave 1 inch of seam allowance And now I'll cut it. So this is a back armhole curve and for front I will take the top two layer of fabric and I'll cut the front armhole curve
know this was a cutting off sleeves and with this the cutting off my kurti is completed front back and the sleeves and i'll share how to stitch it in my next video thanks for watching hope you like this video if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos till then take care bye bye